Friends, family, and those who served with Sergeant First Class Lance Cornett in the 316th Cavalry Brigade gathered at the Reconnaissance and Surveillance Leaders Course Training Facility in his honor to dedicate the compound in his name. Plaques, pictures, ribbons, flags, and monuments commemorate his countless accomplishments as an instructor and Special Forces operator. Sergeant Cornette just embodies professionalism. He was physically, mentally, and emotionally sound. Um, he could think on his feet. Uh, he was capable of uh, solving complex problems. Uh, what I want, so I want soldiers to look up to him, that's a role model. You're looking at somebody that mastered the fundamentals, that accepted all challenges, that, that put himself in the, in the toughest jobs, the most demanding schools, and did, did, did well. I mean, he succeeded in everything he did. Admired by peers and commanders in equal measure, the accomplishments made as an exceptional soldier, father, team member, and teacher were expressed with today's remembrance. Sergeant First Class Cornette was awarded the Bronze Star Medal for Valor, the Army Commendation Medal, the National Defense Service Medal with Bronze Service Star, the Purple Heart, the Combat Infantryman's Badge, and the Sapper and Ranger tabs during his time as an infantryman. He's just one of those guys that was, uh, if I had to describe one word or two words, it was humble, very quiet, and professional. Not everybody can do what Lance can do, but when you were around him, he made you want to, you know, like you could. Lance was always pushing the limits, um, and he wanted everybody else around him to do the same. Sergeant First Class Cornette is survived by his wife, Sandra, his four children, and his mother, Karen McMullen. Courtney Woody, Fort Benning, Georgia.